When you think of Europe in winter, maybe it's the sparkling lights of a German Christmas market, where the air is filled with the scent of mulled wine and roasted chestnuts, and laughter echoes between stalls selling handmade ornaments. These festive scenes are iconic, drawing visitors from around the world to experience the magic of the season. Or perhaps your mind drifts to the snowy slopes of the Swiss Alps, where skiers carve fresh tracks through powdery snow and cozy chalets offer a warm refuge from the crisp mountain air. The Alps become a winter wonderland, attracting adventurers and families alike. But Europe's winter is more than just these postcard moments. From the sun-kissed Mediterranean coastline, where palm trees sway in the cool breeze, to the deep silent forests of Scandinavia blanketed in snow, winter transforms every corner of the continent in its own unique way. Each region tells a different story, shaped by its climate and traditions. In Spain and Italy, you might just need a light jacket as you stroll through bustling city streets, enjoying outdoor cafes and vibrant plazas that remain lively even in the cooler months. The Mediterranean winter is gentle, inviting people to linger outside and soak up the soft sunlight. Meanwhile, in Sweden or Finland, the story is entirely different. Here, lakes freeze solid, creating natural ice rinks, and the long nights are illuminated by the mesmerizing dance of the northern lights. Locals embrace the cold, finding joy in winter sports and cozy gatherings by the fire. This incredible diversity makes European winters truly unique, and forecasting them a real challenge for meteorologists. The continent's varied geography and weather patterns mean that no two winters are ever quite the same. One city could be drenched by relentless rain, its streets glistening under gray skies while just a few hundred miles away, another city is buried under a thick blanket of snow, its rooftops and parks transformed into a winter paradise. Such contrasts are part of what makes Europe's winter weather so fascinating. And the upcoming winter of 2025 to 2026 promises even more surprises. With shifting climate patterns and unpredictable atmospheric forces at play, this season could bring unexpected twists to familiar landscapes. So, bundle up and get ready as we set out to explore what the atmosphere has in store for us. Whether you love the cold or prefer milder days, there's something for everyone in Europe's winter story. We'll take a closer look at the big weather players shaping the season, from the vast Pacific Ocean where storms are born, to the icy reaches of the North Pole, whose frigid air can sweep across the continent. Atmospheric models help us predict what's coming, but nature always has a few surprises up its sleeve. This is about more than just snow or rain. It's about the powerful forces behind Europe's winter, the science that helps us understand them, and the stories they create. Let's dive in and discover what makes this season so extraordinary. To truly understand the winter that lies ahead, we first need to meet the three main weather makers that shape the season across Europe and beyond. These powerful forces are La Nina, the polar vortex, and the jet stream, each one playing a unique role in the drama of winter weather. Let's start with La Nina. This is a climate pattern that forms in the vast Pacific Ocean, thousands of kilometers away from Europe. But don't let the distance fool you, its effects ripple across the globe reaching all the way to our own backyards. During La Nina, cooler than average waters in the Pacific shift global air patterns. This cooling changes the way winds and storms move, influencing weather not just in the Americas but also in Europe, Asia and beyond. It can mean wetter winters for some and drier colder spells for others. Next we have the polar vortex, a swirling powerful mass of icy air that circles the North Pole. When the vortex is strong it keeps the cold locked up in the Arctic. But when it weakens or wobbles, frigid Arctic air can spill southward, bringing sudden cold snaps and even blizzards to Europe. Then there's the jet stream, a high-altitude river of fast-moving air that snakes its way around the globe. The jet stream acts like a weather highway, steering storms, and drawing the line between cold and warm air masses. Its path can shift dramatically, changing the weather below. Where the jet stream flows is crucial. It decides whether Europe experiences mild, wet winters with plenty of rain, or cold, dry spells with snow and frost. A small shift can mean the difference between a gentle drizzle and a fierce snowstorm. These three forces, La Nina, the polar vortex, and the jet stream, are constantly interacting, sometimes working together, sometimes clashing. Their dynamic relationship is what shapes the winter weather we experience. The combined influence of these weathermakers will ultimately decide if this winter is mild and calm, 
wild and stormy, or somewhere in between. Every year their balance shifts, creating new patterns and surprises. That's why understanding these forces is absolutely key to predicting what's ahead. Meteorologists study them closely, looking for clues about what the season might bring. So, let's break down how each of these weather makers works and discover how they'll shape the winter to come. La Nina, Spanish for the little girl, is a weather phenomenon that packs a punch far greater than its name suggests. It is anything but gentle when it comes to influencing global weather patterns, especially during the winter months. Cooler Pacific waters disrupt global air circulation, acting like a giant hand tweaking the world's thermostat, causing shifts that ripple across continents. For Europe, La Nina often nudges the jet stream northward, creating stubborn high-pressure blocks over the North Atlantic, which can have significant impacts on the weather. These blocks divert the usual mild Atlantic winds, allowing cold air from the north and east to sweep into Europe, bringing a chill that can be felt across the continent. As a result, northern and eastern Europe often experience colder, snowier winters, with snow blanketing cities and countryside alike. Meanwhile, the south can turn drier, with parched fields and clear skies becoming more common, affecting agriculture and water resources. This winter, a moderate La Nina is expected, which favors the formation of those high-pressure blocks, setting the stage for a potentially challenging season. That means a higher chance of cold air surges, especially later in the season, as the atmosphere continues to respond to these shifts. It's a classic La Nina setup, no guarantee of a deep freeze but the odds tilt toward more cold and snow for many, with communities preparing for the winter ahead. Southern Europe may see less rain, leading to concerns about water shortages and the impact on local ecosystems. Meanwhile, the north braces for winter's full force, with icy roads and bundled-up residents facing the harsh conditions. La Nina is setting the stage for a dynamic season, with its influence felt far and wide, reminding us of the interconnectedness of our planet's climate systems. The polar vortex is a swirling bowl of frigid air over the North Pole, strongest in winter. When stable, it keeps Arctic cold locked up, giving Europe milder, predictable weather. But if it weakens, often triggered by sudden stratospheric warming, the vortex can wobble or split. That's when Arctic air escapes south, bringing extreme cold snaps to Europe. This winter, the polar vortex is the wild card. La Nina can sometimes make disruptions more likely, but nothing's certain. If the vortex breaks down, Europe could see the infamous beast from the east, with Siberian air flooding the continent. Forecasters will watch the stratosphere closely, especially in January and February. A disrupted vortex could turn a cold winter into a historic deep freeze. The polar vortex keeps everyone guessing. The jet stream is the atmosphere's superhighway, steering storms and dividing cold from warm air. Its path is crucial. North of it, you're cold. South, you're milder. The jet stream meanders like a river, sometimes flowing straight, zonal, sometimes looping north-south, meridional. Zonal flow brings mild, wet weather to Western Europe. Meridional flow means more extremes and persistent patterns. La Nina and the polar vortex both shape the jet stream's path. A blocking high near Greenland can force the jet stream south, bringing storms and cold to Europe. This winter expect an active, wavy jet stream, no single pattern will dominate. We'll see rapid swings, mild and wet one week, cold and snowy the next. The jet stream delivers the impacts of global patterns right to Europe's doorstep. Its twists and turns will define the season. December 2025 kicks off with La Nina driving a strong Atlantic jet stream at Western Europe. The UK, Ireland, France and Benelux can expect a wet, windy start, frequent rain, gusty winds and mild temperatures. Flooding could be an issue where the ground is already saturated. Central Europe, like Germany and Poland, will see a mix, some rain, some drier, colder spells. The Alps are set for great early season snow, thanks to Atlantic moisture and dropping temperatures. Scandinavia and Eastern Europe may start tapping into colder air with below average temperatures and early snow. December sets a clear divide, wet and mild in the west, colder and snowier in the east. Keep your raincoat handy in the west, and watch for early snow in the north and east. The stage is set for a dynamic winter. The real drama is just beginning. January 2026 is when the real battle begins. Mild Atlantic air versus building Arctic cold. 
Central and Eastern Europe will see wild temperature swings, autumn like one week, deep winter the next. The polar vortex could be the game changer. If it weakens, Arctic air may surge south. A sudden stratospheric warming could trigger a major cold snap mid-month. Central Europe will be the battleground with rapid shifts between rain and snow. Quick freezes after rain could create dangerous ice making travel hazardous. Western Europe may stay milder but a vortex disruption could bring rare snow to London or Paris. Southern Europe stays drier but cold snaps and mountain snow are possible. January is the pivotal month. Check the forecast often as conditions can change fast. The outcome here sets the tone for the rest of winter. By February, cold air is likely to take control, with the highest risk for a widespread Arctic outbreak. The beast from the east could roar in, sending Siberian winds across Europe. Eastern Europe and Scandinavia may face weeks of sub-freezing highs and heavy snow. Central Europe, including Germany and Austria, could see their coldest temperatures of the season. Even Western Europe will feel the chill with increased chances for snow in the UK and France. Southern Europe won't escape, cold air will spill over the Alps and Pyrenees bringing rare snow to Italy, the Balkans, and northern Spain. February 2026 could be the defining month of winter with severe cold and snow disrupting daily life. Energy grids, transportation and communities will be tested. This is winter at its most powerful, a reminder of the Arctic's reach. Prepare for a dramatic finale to the season. So that's the outlook for Europe's winter, wet and wild in the west, deep freeze in the east. La Nina, the polar vortex and the jet stream will keep the weather unpredictable and full of surprises. The key is variability. No single pattern will dominate so be ready for anything. Stay informed local forecasts are essential for day-to-day -day planning, prepare for disruptions, rain, snow, ice and cold can all impact travel and daily life. A little planning goes a long way, keep emergency kits handy and stay weather aware. Winter is a season of beauty and power and this one promises to showcase it all. Enjoy the ride, stay warm and keep an eye on the forecast. We'll be here tracking every twist and turn of the season.